Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure space. And this good looking guy to my right is Mr. Jim Marsh. Jim is the director of key accounts at Munters. Jim, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you, Dean. It's a pleasure to be here. Outstanding. So uh, were you here last year? I've been here many, many times in many, many locations. Is this, uh, yeah, same, is, is this the, the most you've, uh, you've seen? The, I, I can't remember seeing this many people I, at this event. I said to somebody just not too long ago that this is a factor larger crowd than last year. Yeah, absolutely. And thank goodness uh, DCD provided larger uh, debate rooms because... Yeah. You know, my my panel grow was anymore. full. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. It yeah, was awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to get into some of these. Right. Um, so let's talk about your role at, at Munters. Tell us a little bit about your role and maybe what makes uh, kind of Munters unique within the space that you play. So I've been five years in May with Munters Data Center Technologies. Um, and that journey started with me being involved with data center construction mm -hmm. and Munters being a great partner. Um, in the five years that I've been with Munters, we've seen an amazing um, transformation in how data centers are operated and cooled. And of course, everyone talks For about sure. liquid cooling and yeah. AI and all that stuff. But what Munters has done from the beginning 25 years ago is innovate technological solutions for the time. So in the beginning, there was evaporative water. So uh -huh. there was direct evaporative media, there's indirect economization, and we've gone through all these packaged solutions into the split systems that we are mostly seeing today. So that includes water going through the pipes uh -huh. or refrigerant going through the pipes. So that's the two main ways to do split systems where you absorb heat in a building and then you move it great distance to put the heat outside. So, uh, because that's a brilliant answer to my to my first question, like how does a company like Munters innovate in kind of that real time? Because I mean, clearly that was is key to your success, yeah? Yeah. Um, so it's a lot of it's just trying to stay plugged into current trends uh -huh. and then using that curve to project to the future. So right now, uh, my former manager, Keith Dunavan, is now senior vice president of strategy and portfolio. And that's his job is mm -hmm. to look at what, what we're doing today and project that out over the next five to 10 years as to what's coming and of course, nobody knows for sure, but it's just like a hurricane. You just, you can, the cone of probability yeah. is where we're yeah, going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, clearly, you know, mission accomplished. You guys are, you guys are doing great things. Um, but yeah, you mentioned it. And so I'm going to talk about it. Your portfolio, specifically with regard to data center cooling. Why don't you talk a little bit about that? Well, it's, it's a broad, um, it's a broad portfolio. If you come to our booth, there's a, uh, logo designed by JSA that's the circle of we all do those the stuff things. we do. Yeah. And it's kind of like a history lesson of much. And, and we've never stopped doing what we started doing mm -hmm. because it's like a bell curve. The trend moves along the timeline, but you never lose what is in the past. Sure. You have to be able to service yeah. it. But most recently, uh, our acquisition of Geoclima Chillers is probably the most significant uh, because we've had chill water solutions for years, but we didn't have the that last piece. Uh huh. So that's huge. Uh, the development of our coolant distribution units. So we have, you know, in addition to Geoclima, we've had uh, Cycool refrigerant economizer mm -hmm. for the last four years deployed at scale. We've developed a refrigerant to liquid CDU, if you will, we call LCE, liquid mm -hmm. cooling evaporator. Now we have liquid to liquid CDUs. That is, that's the main market right now is doing yeah. liquid to liquid, but our approach is different than the commodity guys because we're not using internal redundancy. We're doing uh, what we call unitary redundancy where everything is times one on board and you have, say you need four CDUs, we do N plus one, so you'd have five. Okay. And that's the most efficient way to do it. I, I love it. Um, so so you, you mentioned the acquisition. What can our viewers maybe expect from Munters say in the next you know six to 12 months? So we've been very public about our collaboration with Zutacor, mm -hmm. which is a two-phase directed ship. Interviewed them in Hawaii. I love those guys. Yeah, yeah. and I've known Udi for a long time, and you know they've been developing. And, and what we really love is their directed chip technology that yeah. uh, basically controls the amount of liquid, mm -hmm. and therefore you've got fully saturated refrigerant at both ends of the equation. Um, so that's going to continue. Um, we're going to be developing 
obviously more Geoclima products specific to the U.S. marketplace. Right now, we're taking orders for our plant in Italy, mm -hmm. uh, but we are also adding on to our capacity in Virginia to build chillers specifically. So that'll be coming on uh, towards the end of the year. Uh, and then CDU, you know, is a sort of generic term, but if you think about the medium to medium. So mm -hmm. right now we're talking about, we do today refrigerant to liquid. So the second is the, um, you know, the, the cooling, the TCS. Uh, we do liquid to liquid and we're gonna go to uh, liquid to air, air to liquid. Um, so therefore you can use facility water to cool two-phase refrigerant. Uh, it's gonna be up and down the stack. So you're busy over there, yeah? We're very busy. R&D is very busy. And we're busy just because the market's busy. Yeah, absolutely. I, I've got an idea, Jim. Let's you and I do this again at this time next year. And we'll talk about all that good stuff that you guys got come, uh, coming down the pipe. Great, Dean. I really appreciate it. You Thanks bet. for having me on. You bet. Thank you, Jim. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.